Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death you might be getting on your Windows 10 machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so the most important thing about this blue screen of death is what caused the blue screen of death. So if we look at the bottom here, what failed, so it says tcpip.sys. So if you Google this file, it's used by um, one of the network adapters on your machine. So it's going to be either the device driver or the actual file itself has become corrupted. So to fix this, if we left click on the start menu, type in device manager. So we're going to address the device driver first. So when you are in device manager, if you expand the network adapters, so we can see here I've got an Intel Pro 1000 MT. If you just right click on there and go to properties click on the driver tab so here the driver version is 8.4.13 so what we need to do is we need to go to Google and search for Intel Pro 1000 MT uh, Windows 10 driver um, have a look on the internet if there is a newer driver download and install it uh, reboot your machine and hopefully that will fix the issues um, if there's not a newer driver what you could do is uninstall device, click on OK, reboot your machine. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to remove the driver from your machine completely. It's then going to reboot and it will automatically reinstall next time you log on to your machine. And if that doesn't sort it out, it's going to be that the file itself has become corrupted. So what we need to do is if you click on the start menu again, again, sorry, type in CMD right click on the command prompt and go to run as administrator if you get this prompt just uh, select yes and in this black screen if you type in chk dsk c colon forward slash f forward slash r hit enter uh, you're going to get prompted here yes or no so if you type in y hit enter uh, then reboot your machine. Next time you reboot your machine, it's going to run this check disk. It's going to find um, automatically find and fix any corrupt files that are in your system. Uh, so just let this run and complete. It typically takes between 10 minutes or one hour to complete. Uh, as soon as it has finished um, scanning, it's going to boot directly into Windows again. 